There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. And a furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're going to die. And where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? No. He's asleep in the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, Don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, Quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. Oh, we're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in California. So now that we're in California, how much longer to San So Joel died. Everyone does eventually, I suppose. But more than that, if he does die, will Jesus even care? Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Or rather, my default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son as he did Lazarus? And could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? Jesus wept for Lazarus. Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. I'm sorry. I should have known we'd both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll be healed. I, I know you believe too, just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just... 
just hope that.